YouTube. Welcome back to Correctional Officer Stories with Steve. As always, I'm your host. Thanks for tuning in on this fine Friday, January 8th. All my goon squad, thank you for checking in. Thanks for uh, continuing to watch my content. And I uh, appreciate the comments lately. Had some pretty good feedback. Positivity. You know, I don't get a lot of negative comments on my channel. I don't get a lot of comments on my channel. But now that I've been picking up and doing uh, more videos, I get some I get some positivity. But I notice a lot of them don't show. So if anybody has a any guidance on how I can get those to show, I've been in the YouTube studio. I don't I don't know. They say published, but a lot of them are not. So I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, I wanted to talk today about the second stimulus check. 600 for individuals, 1200 for married filing jointly, and then 600 per child. Um, I think the individual threshold is 75,000 and below. And then I think from there it, it phases out. I don't even think you get anything after that. Correct me if I'm wrong, who, whoever watching this. Um, I think in the first, with the first stimulus, that was 1,200. Um, I know like a family member of mine got like 800 because he, he makes over $75,000 a year. But I think with this, it just phases out. I'm not sure. As a married couple, you get, you got 12, 2,400. This time you get 1200 and then the threshold is annual income or your AGI, your adjusted gross income is 150. Um, anyway, I wanted to, to talk because I was talking to some, some, some friends of mine yesterday and we, they were asking me um, about the stimulus because they know that I pay attention to not only the stimulus, but what's going on in the government, the presidency, you know the House, the Senate. I pay attention to all that. I watch a lot of different channels. As you guys have well known, I've called the channel out here that I watch. A lot of his content is, I feel like it's clickbait, but whatever, we won't get into that today. But my concern is, so the IRS again sent out millions of, of direct deposit checks to the wrong bank account. Um, they released the Get My Payment portal. They they opened it on Monday, January 4th. And I know that if you didn't have TurboTax or H&R Block, they set up a temporary account and then that account ends up closing or it goes to your tax, the tax person. So I know that a lot of those checks went to closed accounts. I know that TurboTax is now um, actually issuing those payments to people that didn't get the stimulus that went into a uh, closed closed account, but I did read this morning that they are going starting to go out. I don't know about H and R Block, but if you're one of the people that went into the Get My Payment system this last time around, the last stimulus check that didn't have bank account information on uh, on file with the IRS, you may owe the IRS, or you you know you don't get a refund or whatever goes on, or you don't file taxes, but you went in there and you updated your bank information. And now the second time around, that paycheck or that stimulus check went to that account and it's closed. The IRS is saying, basically, you're out of luck. They're only giving one chance for that $600 stimulus check to go out because they don't have enough time. The cutoff is January 15th, which is Friday due to tax season. So the timing of this is horrible. So what they're telling you to do is go in and claim that as a recovery rebate when you file your taxes. So from my understanding, that recovery rebate doesn't mean you're going to go in, file your taxes on line 30 of the 1040 or 1040R, you're going to, or SR, whatever it is, you can look it up on irs.gov. You, you claim that rebate and if you get a refund, it will, it will, um, it'll increase the amount of refund you get. If you owe the government, then it'll just take that six or 1200 or whatever you're getting for your family off of what you owe, which is a complete crock of shit. Because as you well know, if you, if you follow the stimulus creditors, if you owe the government this time around, if you owe back child support, it was exempt from being taken. Just like the first time the $1,200 stimulus could not be taken. If you owed the government, 
if you owed back taxes, um, if you owed creditors. However, they did take it if you were back paid, if you were back um, in the rears with child support. This time, it couldn't be taken at all by creditors, by back taxes, by child support. But what kind of nonsense is that? If it goes to a closed account, they didn't give you the option to go in and update that information, probably for good reason, because who knows where this money is even coming from. It's probably coming from the Social Security Fund. So you're out of luck, which is which is horrible to say. Um, so if it went to a closed account and you, you go on get my payment and notice that it went to an account that isn't open or you don't recognize, they are not going to reissue a paper check. They are asking... Americans to go in and file your taxes as soon as possible and claim the recovery rebate credit, which will either increase your refund or if you owe the government back taxes, it will decrease what you owe. They will not kick out a check if you owe, which is which is horseshit. I don't understand it. Millions of Americans were expecting this check and they sent it to wrong accounts. You know for a fact the IRS has the ability to detect if an account is closed and not even send that payment. You also know that they have the ability to you for you to go in and update your information, not change, not take a bank account out, but elect to have your inf your deposit go to a nether bank account. And I even contacted the IRS and I asked them if you have bank account information that is incorrect are you going to allow Americans to update that? And I, and I, when I, when I called them, this is way before um, the stimulus checks even started going out. The lady said, and I repeat, and I quote, "Yes, you will be able to go in and update your bank information. You won't be able to change it due to fraud, but you can update it." No, not the case, folks. Can't update it. So if you are expecting a stimulus and it went to a closed account, and you think they're going to turn around and just the bank's going to return it and they're going to kick you out of payment via check or um, debit, direct debit card. Not a chance. You are going to have to claim it on your 2020 tax return in 2021, which I don't agree with. I think it's ridiculous. Now, they are saying that um, Biden did say if um, the... The House is, or the Senate is controlled by Democrats, which it is. Chuck Schumer will now be the majority leader of the Senate. So now that's the, the House, the Senate, and the presidency is obviously controlled by Democrats. So now Mitch McConnell can't stop the $2,000 stimulus check from going to the floor of the Senate being voted. As you know, it already passed the House. But now that's dead. With new Congress coming in, that's dead. But he, Biden did say that it is a $2,000 check will go out. Do we know if it's going to be $2,000? It might be $1,400 to equal $2,000 with the $600 checks they just sent out. It, it may be $2,000. I don't know enough um, to sit here and give you guys a bunch of bullshit information like I are on some channels. All I do know is that it's a pretty good chance now that the Dem the Democrats control all three parts of, the go the, of Congress. Or, yeah. Wait, yeah, the House, the Senate, and the presidency, sorry, um, that we're, you're going to see a $2,000 stimulus check. Now, that won't be till after January 20th. It ain't going to be in the next couple days. As some of these channels, like It's Jimmy says, oh, you might see it in the next couple days. It could... No, they don't have time to do that. And I bet you what happens is if, that che if they do send out another a third stimulus, it will again go to a closed account and you will have to wait for a paper check because they will have time to kick out paper checks. It'll just take much longer. So it just really drives me nuts. It, it just It's a crock of shit, for, especially for the people that were really counting on that money that needed to pay rent or mortgage or whatever you guys needed to pay. It's just ridiculous. It's just the government. The government controls everything. A bunch of lunatics. You know, Trump stalled it and acted like he wanted that two thousand dollars that's because he wanted he didn't want democrats to win georgia and um, that's just my perspective but anyway so yeah that's the that's the the news on that so like i said again if your stimulus went to a closed bank account 
that the IRS has on file, whether it was one that you had on file from your 2019 tax return or you went in to get my payment, um, this last stimulus and updated your checking information and it's no longer valid and they sent that check to their to that bank account, they are not going to kick out. It's, they're not going to wait for it to return and then kick out a, pay, another, a, ch a paper check. Not going to happen. You will not get one in the mail. You're going to have to um, claim it as a recovery rebate on your tax return. And if you owe the government, you won't even see that money. It'll just take it right off your whatever you owe. So I think it's just nonsense, <clears throat> but it is what it is. But I wanted to give that update because I've got that. I've seen that question and got that question quite a bit. Um, so I wanted to give you the information that I have, and that's coming right off the damn IRS.gov. They just updated that January 6th. That information just went out Tuesday. So prior to that, it said if we've sent it out to a wrong bank account, you can't go in and update it. But we will, um, once it returns, we'll kick out a, a paper check. But they've now realized that they don't have time to do that because the cutoff is January 15th per the bill that just passed. So I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people that are homeless that have P.O. boxes or they have, you know, an address on file with family. They do talk to or they just have an address, period. They were waiting for that payment. Not just homeless people, tons of people. Over 13 million Americans, their payment went to a closed or inactive bank account. It's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's 2021, people. If the IRS can kick out payments overnight, once it's approved, they kicked them out overnight, then they have the ability to update that information or let you update that information. Anyway, folks, I don't know, but I think there definitely will be a third stimulus. Will it be $2,000? Will it be $1,400 to equal the $2,000 from the $600 you guys just got? I don't know. I don't know the specifics of it, but continue to pay attention to either YouTube or you can look it up on irs.gov or anything. If you just search stimulus check, you'll find something that references it. Um, but anyway, folks, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to give you a quick update on that because <clears throat> I think it's nonsense. But have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend and Monday we'll be here quickly. Talk to you then. Peace.